I like I like some of the, I like some of his films, but there's the one in particular called Woman Under the Influence, which I always think it's it, it's just so fake. It's like that idea of oh, we're using handheld cameras, so it looks more real, you know, or whatever. But then it becomes even more offensive because it's totally subjective. I mean, it's just one guy's idea, or it's a cliche. I mean, it, just the presentation of a female as a victim of you know whatever. That, and this kind of zooming, that sort of thing, it's just, it's, it's both hilarious and offensive, you know, and that's why I, I wanted to do that with, with this guy. Because you become really, in that second film, you do suddenly become really aware of that, the way that you're kind of doing that zooming. Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be a joke. I mean, it's yeah, like... But it's quite kind of like, you know, it's not like the same as, you know, Hamilton, which is supposed to be a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, if um, if your work is tend to be provocative towards an audience, don't you think if you go to if you avoid uh, the gallery, the audience of the gallery, and go to a gig, um, don't you think it's more safe? You're in a, a more safe, safer place uh, towards that audience than this audience, for example. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm not saying that I'm avoiding it. I mean, I play quite a lot of gigs at the art galleries. It's just you know not exclusively. You know, not like this. There's some bands or performers would be quite happy to you know just stuck in that environment, especially with their paper there. You know, but um, yeah, it's true. I mean, all kind of, like, I would play all kinds of you know, small venues, whatever, they can, you know, there can be confront yeah, confrontation anywhere, you know. But you're looking more for that or for a numerous audience? Yeah, well, you know, all kinds of audience. It's just personally, if, if I, I don't know if that happens to you, but it's like people, you know, make comments in the street, you know, about things, and those are the kind of people I want to interact with, you know. But if you were on a, on a stage in a gig, I can't talk to you. No. Well, you, you, you could, could, you can, you could shout, right? you could shout, you could echo. But without shouting, I can speak with you easily in here or in the gallery than in a gig. Yeah, I, I don't really know. Um, but I don't, I don't know what you're getting at. I mean, I think in a gallery as well, I could, I'd be performing and I could just leave after it was good enough. It's not, not going to be a Q and A or anything. I mean, what, what's, what, what's your question? You said you stop making uh, film and art things to, and you, you went to this band. Well, I was never really part of an art, you know, gallery context that much. I mean, they got shown occasionally, but mostly that's sort of gay film festivals and things like that. Yes. Yeah, the location gets shown in the gallery as well, or also the cinema screenings. But. Yeah, but you can't, your concern was to um, get the maximum amount of people to um, see what you what we were doing, wasn't it? So we well, I would, I would, yeah, I mean, the maximum amount, I mean, that should be everybody's interest, really. I mean, if you, if you you know, if you do take the time to produce something, you want the maximum amount of people to see it, don't you? But not, not is that um, um, the elites, the other part? I would mean, if, if I have to make compromise in the work. No. I mean, it, if I want to touch the, the, the a big uh, audience, but that's, that, uh, that focus interfering with my first concern, I wouldn't do that. And if I I want to provoke What's the name of your first concern being Well I mean in your work. <coughs> so you do make Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, no no I no I would not be interested in that no. I mean I think it is there's ways of manipulating people or something to that that's fine, but no, I wouldn't want to I mean it's pointless compromising the art and that's what I do it. 
this Well, I'm doing that, the films. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, but I would actually extend it out to you, as. But um, I just wondered what you thought about that, whether it was something you could have done. Well, it just reflects back on the, the outward, really, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Just because it's, I mean, this kind of thing is not, I mean, you could analyze, it's, it's not, you can't sell it, you know, it's a film, you can't sell it. And, um, it doesn't quite fall into, you know, you know this, you know. It's not good enough to be on TV, it's not personal enough to be art, or it's not whatever, you know. It's consciously, it's consciously made to look like cheap TV comedy, you know, which is not, it doesn't reveal with our art world expectations, so. What, what were you going to say? But I wonder if that would change. I don't know, I just think it's, well, I mean, the way I look at it now is so that you've got YouTube, you know, and you speak to artists, but there was a screening that somebody had, and I couldn't make it because it was in, in Clapham, and I said, are you going to put it on YouTube? And they just laughed. You know, how would we, why would we put it on YouTube if it just decreases the value of our art, you know? But, I mean, I think if once people get over that, then... I don't think everybody's like that. No, I don't think so either. It's just this particular situation, you know. Maybe people like my generation. So what's stopping this work from <laughs> entering into the art world? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I've seen stuff, or I've seen like, like quite a few things, and also like Bonnie Campbell's work, it's in the art world. I mean, I know she does lots of other things. Yeah, and it's different, her art's work from sort of personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I mean, it's funny because when we came in here, not, I don't know anything about you, but it's like, we see it, and it's, we're, we're thinking about, oh, right, this is someone's art. Yeah, but I also think that it feels like, you know, when I when I talk to people, friends of mine who are artists or aspiring artists, that there's an, an element of what they're thinking about is how can I market myself, you know? And I don't think I thought about that because I remember I went to film school, you know, and you can, you know, that's just one aspect of it. How do I, what, what niche, what cliche do I fit into, you know, what fashion, you know, and it works. I don't know.